Morning, good morning everyone. Here we are. Gabe and I are on our way to nursery. After I've dropped Gabe, I'm then gonna go and get my nails done. And then I have got an eye test and I've got to go to John Lewis. So let's go and drop Gaby Angel. Honestly, it has just taken me 45 minutes to make like a 15 minute journey. There was just traffic everywhere. This always seems to happen on the day that I'm getting my nails done. It is a bit of a drive. Sorry, my hair looks awful. I have to drive through the town I live in and out the other side. And sometimes that town, the traffic in that town can just be awful for no reason. But generally it's fine. But obviously, for some reason, on the days that I'm getting my nails done, I'll drop Gabe to nursery and it will be relatively clear. I'll drive back and suddenly it's like traffic everywhere. And so I went all these different routes and I feel like for no reason, it was so annoying. Anyway, I've made it, it's 9.25, appointment's at 9.30. Where I go, it's at um, this lady's house. I mean, she's called Sam, she's lovely. But anyway, I went last time a bit, not a bit rogue. I usually like a dark color. Renewed was always what I used to get when I used to get my nails done. I was enjoying red because I wear a lot of black. So I, I don't mind. And I wear gold, and I wear gold jewelry. So I think a pop of red is quite nice. Um, but I'd seen this colour, Biosculpture, called Courtney, um, come up a lot on my Instagram. And so last time I was like, oh yeah, let's, let's go for that. But I feel like I want to go back to red. And the reason I drive this far to come and get my nails done is because I specifically wanted to find someone that used Biosculpture. I have previously had my nails done and was... And it was the gel bottle that I was getting. And I just found, I was pregnant at the time, so I've, I don't know if it was hormonal, but I found that it did not last. Like I could barely get two weeks out of it. This has been on three weeks and I mean, it's grown out, but it's not peeling or anything. So Biosculpture is the one. So anyway, um, I basically just went on the Biosculpture website and found this lady that uses Biosculpture near me. And I haven't looked back. So yeah, we're gonna change it up, we're gonna get red. I finished having my nails and then I wanted to rush to town because I hadn't actually eaten this morning. So I wanted to eat something before my eye test. So I did eat something, um, but then it was I did just a bit of a rush and I haven't really brought you with me, but I did just take a tiny bit of footage in Jimmy Fairley getting my eyes tested. Description hasn't changed hugely. Still very much for like reading, maybe driving, maybe when I'm doing hair. It's just basically like as and when I feel like to wear glasses. Yeah, I just hadn't had my eyes tested for literally years. Um, and I was like, do you know what I need to get it done? So I picked a nice pair of glasses and um, yeah, they'll be ready in like two weeks. These are my nails, I haven't shown you. Went back to red. This is the shade Angelina in Biosculpture. Previously did have a shade called Scarlet and Angelina is ever so slightly more of an orange red. So I'm in John Lewis car park because I just had to do a customer collection because I, I did something I don't know if anyone's ever done anything as stupid as this. Elliot's really heavy. So when it's just me and I go and pick up Gabriel, I need to take the buggy to put Elliot in in case I can't park right outside nursery. So I can put Elliot in the buggy, walk to nursery and get Gabe so that I can hold Gabe's bag, possibly Gabe's hand if I need to, and I'm hands free. If I don't take the buggy, Elliot's far too heavy and wriggly for me to have any kind of control over Gabe if I need it and to hold his bag. So that's in brief. Anyway, the buggy last week. <laughs> got everyone in the car um put the buggy by the back of the car ready to put in the boot did i put that buggy in the boot no i didn't did i just drive off and leave it yes i did did i not realize until the day after that i had done that yes so i still can't quite believe i've done it but i basically drove off and left the buggy in the middle of the road <laughs> never to be seen again i called nursery the next day when i suddenly realized what i'd done and said on the off chance that anyone handed a buggy in and they were like, no, sorry. So I basically had to order another buggy and it's a baby Zen yo-yo in case you're wondering. So <laughs> not the cheapest. Um, and yes, I did. I had a look to see if I could get a second hand one and there was none like near me to pick up and we need it. Um, it's a really good buggy, which is why I've paid a ridiculous amount of money to buy it for a second time. <sighs> I just, I mean, what an idiot but that's kind of a, an insight into my mental capacity at the moment. There isn't much, so 
I do things like drive off and leave 400 pound buggies in the middle of the road. Okay, we're home. I'm just very quickly putting some makeup on. Because I'm going to also very quickly film a TikTok video to go live because that's how we do i try not to tiktok every day it's actually such like easy content um that it's not really too much of a hardship to do because i kind of always have ideas for it because it's either ideas that i have or questions that people ask about hair care so that's why i've been able to keep it up as long as i have because it just kind of is very easy content um i think if i was trying to do tiktok as me well i did actually try to I just sort of fell off. Um, I think it's a lot of pressure to be like yourself. If, it, if it's something that you're trying to grow, because um, I just feel like way more pressure to like constantly go viral and like be relevant and I just can't, I just can't keep up with that clearly. Also, I keep looking at my nail colour and thinking, oh my God, I just love it so much. Like how nice is that? Slightly summery perhaps, because it is a very orangey red, but I just, it makes me so happy. So my hair's looking a bit voluminous um, because I just filmed a three three or four I'm not sure yet three or four I'm not sure yet ways to use a thermal hot brush but the GHD rise yeah so I've got a bit of shape in my hair anyway this came whilst I was out I, I ordered this from Amika the exfoliating jelly shampoo over on TikTok I talk a lot about scalp scrubs scalp specific shampoos things like that and this is like an in-between exfoliating jelly shampoo a lot of people are worried about using scalp scrubs when they've got quite fine hair so i saw this and i thought this could be the perfect hybrid so i've ordered it to give it a go and i'm hoping i can report good things because it's the perfect answer to if you're not sure about scalp scrubs the tattoo dewy skin cream i just had to um i had basically space and k is the biggest enabler of my life because i have an indulge card and i quite often get five pound um vouchers which means just a testament to how much money i spend on there um, and this was actually i think they had 20 percent off as well so it doesn't take much for me to spend do you know what i mean and i didn't need this cream but i really really like it i had a small tester of it it was that and the water cream i got like a small um trial size but i thought i'd love the water cream because i love the sunday riley tidal cream and so i thought for sure the water cream is going to be for me the dewy skin is going to be too thick hated the water i didn't hate the water cream it just didn't feel it, it just felt quite cheap like it's very expensive and i don't feel like it felt how i thought it would i much prefer sunday ridey tidal if i want like a water gel cream but the dewy skin cream it's, it is just incredible and I just really like Tatcha. I've got a couple of things. Um, I've had their rice polish. Their lip balm is incredible. A couple of little bits I picked up. Um, so yeah, I'm a, that. Haynes is changing Elliot because I think he leaked through his nappy onto his clothes, so he's just getting changed. And then I'm going to give him a little snack. Pick up Gabe. I don't know if I'll vlog any more of today because uh, it tends to get a bit chaotic um, in the afternoons. Oh, I mean, I say chaotic. It isn't really. It's just like there's two kids at home. Um, and then we do dinner, so I may not vlog anymore today because we're just going to do dinner and then watch the traitors um, and then I'll go to bed. They're coming downstairs. Do you want to say hello? Do you want to say hello? Hi. Hello. <laughs> well, you saying hello. It's Wednesday morning. I'm just getting ready. I'm trying to make myself look presentable because I'm going for a high jump facial. I'm so excited. It's only down in town, like two minutes away. And then I'm also going to pop to Boots afterwards. And then I need to also pop to Waitrose and actually probably make a list of what it is that I need to get because I know that I'll forget. I'm so excited about this facial. My skin, it's got so much better from when I burnt it with retinol last week. But it's still just a bit crap, so I'm looking forward to having this facial and discussing with them like a plan of action because 2024 is the year of the glow up for me i think it's the year for the glow up for everyone isn't it we're all we're all chasing that high maintenance to be low maintenance vibe aren't we um but it's definitely the year that i want to get into regular facials i'm going to be 40 in october uh, we need to take the anti-aging seriously and don't get me wrong it's not that i'm worried about aging i just want to age as well as i can um and i really really believe i mean i'm getting ready to on friday sure um, but I am not someone that believes in just having 
injectables like just having botox and that being it like i would say if you're young don't worry about botox or anything like that just get really good facials that's that's where you should spend your money really good skincare really good medical grade facials and then do botox like in your 30s like i'd say like mid 30s but people say like you should start in your late 20s but i'm kind of starting now and i feel like for me that's the right time to start um but anyway so a hydrofacial isn't hugely prescriptive um it's just an overall like great facial so i feel like i'd maybe like to get them twice a year um but then talk to them about something more prescriptive um of what i need to get more regularly um because i know that when i have facials specifically and when my skin gets sensitive i get like a patch of rosacea here and someone i can't remember if it's like microneedling or laser or something but you can get something for that um, yeah i have congestion my skin is generally oily which i'm pleased about because as you get older it is better to have skin on the oilier side than anything that's too dry um, but it is dehydrated, as most people are. And yeah, I just definitely have like a bit of texture, open pores. Um, so yeah, that's what we want to address. Looking forward to not only the facial this morning, but chatting about what we can do. I really want to talk about microneedling. I don't know if I want to talk about that with this clinic or on Friday when I go and get Botox because they also do microneedling there. But I think it's quite good I'm doing it in the same week because I'm going to talk to the clinic today, see what they say, and then talk to them on Friday and see what they say and then decide what I want to do. Oh, post facial. She showed me what came out of my face, that was disgusting. I'm a little bit red because I am prone to redness, but glorious. That's the hydrofacial machine. It's intense, isn't it? I've just been shooting actually an outfit video for this coat that I just got sent to me from Beyond Nine. It's their Rue jacket. It just launched and I don't know how much, how many of them they have because I know there's limited stock. And so nice of them to send this to me. I absolutely love it. It's like a denim, it's like a denim like padded coat. Um, I've rolled the sleeves up, the inside is gingham. Very cute, um, and I'm, I'm actually wearing my Beyond Nine. I can't remember the name, but my I, I absolutely love this sweatshirt so much. Um, and then I've just got sweaty Betty leggings, and uh, but how good is this jacket? It's got the biggest pockets I've ever seen, and I just love the fit of it. Like, it's my ideal uh, kind of short jacket because it covers the bum and quite boxy. But it doesn't drown me, I don't think. And I can wear it over the top of this really big jumper and the arms don't feel tight. I get that a lot. If I, if I wear a chunky jumper under a jacket, the arms are always tight, but this feels great. Um, so yeah, how nice is that? I'm going through a transition of like now feeling like I want to buy new clothes and things. Um, and maybe I'm starting to know my style again after having two kids. Um, and this is the start of that. It's just a great spring jacket. Anyway, I've just been doing that. I've also just filmed TikTok stuff using this Revlon hot brush, which is my new favourite appliance. It's not the normal Revlon hot brush, it's a skinnier one. It's called the One Step Style something. I'll link it below, but it's such a good hot brush. Like, honestly, it's so good. It was like £35 on offer in boots, but it's 39 Maybe it's £40 full price. Really reasonable. Um, honestly, it's incredible. I'm getting ready because we're getting Botox today. Oh my god, I didn't film after my facial. Um, so yeah, my skin, I've got no makeup on today because I want to go and get Botox. And then I want them to look at my skin because I'm interested in a few other treatments. So I'd quite like them to see my skin as it is and then we go from there. But my facial was glorious. It's definitely something I'm going to start doing much more regularly. My skin's just felt great since then. I love it. Yeah, really lovely facial. I just didn't vlog afterwards because it all got a bit chaotic. But it's Friday today and I'm getting ready because I'm going to go... Wait, what time is it? So I'm just going to go and look at a childminder for Elliot. We are at the point where it would be quite nice to send him somewhere one or two days a week and have both the kids out the house for one or two days a week. Um, just so that work doesn't conflict as much and we've got some days where I, we can kind of definitely book to do things and it doesn't rely on the other one being here. I'll go more into it maybe in this vlog or like in my next vlog but 
Big private nurseries are an absolute no because they're so bloody expensive. So childminders are a lot cheaper. I found what looks like a really nice one. So I'm going to go and look at that. So I'm going to go and look at that this morning. And then I'm coming home and then we're going into London to sort our or head out. Um, but I also, um, I'm just going to show you one quick thing actually. I ordered off of Look Fantastic. Look Fantastic gave me a voucher, which was lovely of them. Uh, I've got, a, I've got a, um, a code actually, a discount code, um, which is always linked in the bio. Um, but anyway, I put the voucher towards something that I have wanted for ages and it only, and it fits in with this vlog of like anti-aging. Um, but it's one of these. I bought a new face. This is the new face mini and they had it in a bundle. So there's this one. This with, this is the most important thing. So this is the gel activator that you need to use it with. You can't use it without this. And then it also came with their vitamin C which is exciting always up for using a vitamin c and then what's this face towelet oh exfoliating oh i think this is a bit like the dr dennis gross um exfoliating wipes you know what i mean but um if you haven't seen this before this is a microcurrent device and so it's for firming and toning and lifting the face when I worked at Space NK, I was always toing and froing about whether to get one of these, and I never did. And now, on this whole anti-aging vibe, I decided to go for it. You have to be regular with this. Um, it's basically like gua sha, but like a more intense version. Um, so I just decided to go for it because I really want it. And I've been trying to gua sha a bit more because my jaw and my neck, as I aged specifically, that, that's my like pr problem target area of concern outside of anything else on my face it's my jaw on my neck um i decided to get for that um and then i'm also toying with whether to get the current body led mask but anyway if anyone's got it let me know um but yes i'm really excited to start using this and i'm sure it'll be something that i'll go in and out of depending on how busy i am but uh, i really want to kind of give it a go and see anyway right let me get ready and then i'll speak to you in a bit just saw childminders loved it so nice um they were so lovely it was huge so much space just great it's going to be perfect so i definitely think we are going to send elliot there from maybe march which is exciting um just because i think it'll be good for him as well to be with other children and like doing other things so i'm really excited that it was so nice i showed you my outfit didn't i so yeah let's go sort out this place make myself look a bit more rejuvenated <laughs> Doors closing. Going. You frown? Okay, now eyebrows up for me. Then I just check it to make sure it's symmetrical, which I'm sure you appreciate. Oh yes. <laughs> okay, let's let's go. Oh, I love the pen. Feel like you're ready for a festival. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Okay, you're gonna do a little scratch here. Okay, we're back. How's the forehead looking? You can't really see there's no oh look you can see there's a bump there <laughs> so i just got back and i got back back a little bit too late for me to coincide with hainsley doing nursery pickup so he's taken elliot to go and pick up gabe from nursery um so i am just in the house by myself oh, look at that bump in my forehead <laughs> and ignore how messy the room is too early about that new jacket from beyond nine which i just wore out and i absolutely love um about kind of shopping and clothes and i've got another new purchase which is made completely on a whim to show you so i uh got invited to an event next week which is very exciting and i haven't been to like a swanky event honestly since before having children i don't think and i haven't been like out out properly i think before having since before ha i think since before having kids um and i don't have any i've got maybe a couple of pairs of heels barely any shoes i do have an outfit which is fine but i have no shoes the first thing that i thought was what shoes am i going to wear to this event so i went out with i live quite near a big town i went out with elliot for a walk yesterday and i thought let me just have a look went into office there was nothing there was nothing in office because i basically wanted to replace i had a pair of shoes that were like my go-to heels if i was going out from office and they were just nude and like stilettos absolutely loved them and they basically got like mold on them from an old wardrobe uh and i threw them out and i've wanted to replace them since then but haven't really needed to because i'm not going anywhere i'm wearing heels but now i thought let's do it they don't have them anymore in office i don't know what's happened they're such a classic shoe 
Um, but either way, um, I ended up going into Fenix, which we have in my town, and they have quite a good shoe department. Also, everything's on sale, but I just really wasn't very hopeful. Um, and I have never bought shoes from Kurt Geiger, but these are on sale, and I don't know, <laughs> they're going to be a bit love hate because they kind of border on tacky. Um, but they're a rip off of a Jimmy Choo style that I really love and would hope to replace for my 40th birthday. That's like on my vision board. Anyway, they're nude, and I actually, when they're on, they look they're the kind of shoe that I feel like when they're not on, they look not great but holding those up now i just think oh my god they look so tacky and awful um, and can you believe these were these would have been 189 pounds full price but they were reduced to 69 they so when they're on i think they look lovely i don't think you can see really can you and like do shoes ever look good like from this angle how can i do this do it any justice whatsoever are you kind of understanding what we're going for obviously with a sweaty betty leg and I have only got, maybe I should put the other one on for you, but I, I, I say I really like them. I prefer the, the actual Jimmy T version because they are like a painted nude and I think they're rather blush nude. But I just, I do just really, I don't, looking at it like that, I really don't like the style, but when it's on, I think it looks nice. And um, the outfit I'm planning to wear it with, I think it will look really good. I'm actually gonna wear it with, I don't know if you um, remember when I went to the Beyond Nine event, they sent me some Cupro um, trousers so that they're like a silky kind of floaty trouser. I plan to wear them with that and then I've got like a black kind of shirt top, a bit kind of Rick Owens vibes. So there we go, that's my new pair of shoes and it just felt quite nice to buy something frivolous like that for myself because I haven't done that for so long. I've barely bought new clothes it's been very, very basic pieces, like the Arquette tops that I wear all the time. Sorry, my bra. Like, I feel like I'm starting to move into the era of like becoming me again and doing other things rather than just working and being a mum <laughs> because I feel like definitely within the first few years of having young children, that is all you can do and that's all you have brain capacity and energy to do. Definitely when Elliot starts with his childminder, of which we confirmed, once he starts with them, I'll definitely feel like I've got capacity to kind of do things. It's even things like going to the gym, like, or if I wanted to get a trainer or book classes, I know that I can definitely do it every week now because there are two days when both the kids are out, so it won't rely on making sure that Hainsey's is around. I then feel bad if I work a lot and then I want to do other things and Hainsey's with the kids a lot. He he doesn't care he's like whatever you need to do do it i'm here we both work flexibly like use me like it's fine but i just feel bad when he's with the kids more than i am in a week i, I think that's just a mum thing but either way i feel better that there'll be two days that both of us can have that are just ours and if we're working we're working but we can also do things for pleasure <laughs> That sounds a bit weird, but you know what I mean. Anyway, they I have just pulled up now, so let's go and see. Well, not let's. I'm going to go and do the evening. I'm going to go and do the four till nine shift. Um, so I probably won't vlog anymore today.